We are here at reInvent in Vegas once again with Deepak. Um, and we thought this would be a fun opportunity just to do a little bit of a, a reflection on kind of where we've been together as Hasha Group and AWS, but also talk about some of the new announcements that you guys released last kind of two days or so and a little bit of forward look in terms of where are we going. Yeah, sounds great. Uh, it's kind of, uh, you know, I think we meet every year at Reinvent and we've known each other for a very long time. Um, I think when we first started talking was right around the time containers were beginning to become a thing and we all kind of grew up in that world of infrastructure as code and infrastructure as, you know, infrastructure services and uh, the world's changed a lot in the last two years. Uh, you know, I think one of the things I was interested in talking to you about was because you get this vantage point of talking to a broad set of customers and as a builder yourself on sort of how the change in with, with AI agents and, uh, and uh, the tooling that we have now has even influenced your thinking and what your customers are doing in this world. So I've always been curious. Yeah, I mean, I think what's been funny is in many ways, you know, I think about kind of to your point that infrastructure is code evolution. And in some ways, you almost couldn't have predicted where we'd be today with AI, but also you almost couldn't have built a better technology to anticipate it. Yeah. Because if you think about kind of the structure of these LLMs and sort of the, the, their desire to have a structured next token along, almost the perfect thing for it is something like Terraform. Because <laughs> it gives it a very structured way of you know defining and managing the infrastructure in a way that the LLMs can, can easily understand. So one of the things that's been interesting has been the radical shift of how infrastructure as code's been written, right? So if I look at, you know, obviously two years ago, that was all written by humans. Yes. If I look at it today, I would guess probably 30 to 40% of Terraform is being written by agents of some sort. 